So you've written quite a bit about how artificial intelligence might change our world. Mm -hmm. How do you think, if, if we look forward again, it's impossible to predict the future, but if we look at trends in, from the past and we try to predict what's gonna happen in the rest of the 21st century, how do you think AI will change our world? <laughs> That's a big question. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. I'm mostly a techno optimist. I'm not at the extreme, you know, the singularity is near end of the spectrum, but I, I do think that we are likely in for some significantly improved living standards, some really important progress, even just the technologies that are already kind of like in the can that haven't diffused. You know, when I talked earlier about the J curve, it can take 10, 20, 30 years for an existing technology to have the kind of profound effects. And when I look at whether it's, you know, vision systems, voice recognition, problem solving systems, even if nothing new got invented, we would have a few decades of progress. So I'm excited about that. And I think that's going to lead to us being wealthier, healthier. I mean, the healthcare is probably one of the applications that I'm most excited about. Um, so that's good news. I don't think we're going to have the end of work anytime soon. Um, there's just too many things that machines still can't do. Um, when I look around the world and, and think of whether it's it's childcare or healthcare, clean the environment, um, interacting with people, scientific work, artistic creativity, these are things that for now machines aren't able to do nearly as well as humans. Even just something as mundane as you know folding laundry or whatever, and many of these I think are going to be years or decades before machines catch up. You know, I may be surprised on some of them, but but overall, I think there's plenty of work for humans to do. There's plenty of problems in society that need the human touch. So we'll have to repurpose. We'll have to, as machines are able to do some tasks, people are going to have to reskill and move into other areas. Um, and that's probably what's going to be going on for the next, you know, 10, 20, 30 years or, or more, a uh, kind of big restructuring of society. We'll get wealthier and people will have to do new skills. Now, if you turn the dial further, I don't know, 50 or 100 years into the future, then, you know, maybe all bets are off. Then it's possible that that machines will be able to do most of what people do. You know, say one or 200 years, I think it's even likely. And at that point, then we're more in the sort of abundance economy. Then we're in a world where there's really little for that humans can do economically uh, better than machines other than be human. And... Uh, you know, well, that will take a transition as well, kind of more of a transition of how we get meaning in life and, and what our values are. But but shame on us if we screw that up. I mean, that should be like great, great news. Yeah. And it kind of saddens me that some people see that as like a big problem. I, you know, I think that would be, should be wonderful if, if people have all the health and, and material things that they need and, and can focus on loving each other and discussing philosophy and playing and, and doing all the other things that don't require work.